Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will explore how to build an end-to-end -end data lake extract, load, and transform pipeline using a modern tech stack. The setup includes min.io for storage, Apache Iceberg as the table format, Trino as the SQL engine, dbt for data transformations, Postgres as the catalog, and Apache Airflow for orchestration. This stack uses open source tools and provides modularity and ability to streamline data querying, making it suitable for modern data engineering workflows. We have used all of these tools previously. We will build on that knowledge rather than starting from scratch. This will save us a lot of time and we can focus on building the ETL pipeline. If you need to get started, then I will leave the links to related videos or playlist for each tool in the description. For example, we have a whole series on dbt. We developed an OLAP database using dbt in this series. We have covered Apache Iceberg, Min.io and Trino during the previous data lake videos. You can watch these for more details on these tools. We have set up Postgres as well. You can follow the steps to set up a Postgres instance or run Postgres in Docker for ease of use. We will use this Postgres instance as our data lake catalog. Airflow installation is covered in the following videos. We build a custom Airflow image with additional providers for our databases. We add Trino Airflow provider to this image. Python is a prerequisite. Therefore, Make sure it is installed on your system. We have covered Python installation with Anaconda previously. Make sure you have a working Python environment. With that out of the way, let's cover the architecture. We will use this Airflow image to orchestrate our ETL pipeline. The pipeline consists of the following components. Min iOS3 storage, used for storing raw data files. Apache Iceberg Table Format acts as the table format layer, enabling version data and schema evolution. Trino SQL Engine provides a unified interface for querying raw and transformed data. dbt handles data transformations within Iceberg Catalog. Postgres serves as the data catalog for our data lake. Apache Airflow orchestrates the entire workflow from data ingestion to transformation and querying. We will set up the following tools for this session. Min.io and Trino as Docker containers. We are using this Docker Compose file to create these containers. We issue the Docker Compose up command to start these containers. The Iceberg properties file contains the Metastore configurations. We are using Postgres to store the table details and S3 bucket to store the table's metadata and data. The containers will take a few seconds to come up. Once they are up, we can test to make sure they are in working state. We log into min.io and inspect the warehouse bucket. Let's create another bucket called data lake. This will store the raw source data. We can also launch Trino to make sure this is in working state. We can connect to Trino using dbeaver. We need the host and the port. We provide any username and connect to the Trino query engine. Docker Compose file and the Iceberg Catalog configuration file is available on GitHub. You can clone the repo and follow along. We have our S3 storage and Trino query engine up and running with Iceberg table format. Postgres is already running on the host machine. We also have the Apache Airflow container running. However, we will need to make a change to it. We stop this container and add the Trino Airflow provider. We will rebuild the Airflow image. I will trim the image from previous session so it builds a bit quicker. Image build can take a few minutes. Once the image is built, we start the Airflow container. If this is the first time you are building an Airflow image, then watch the Airflow installation video. We cover this in detail there. Trino provider will allow us to connect to Trino from the Airflow container. We also have dbt and dbt Trino adapter. 
we issue the docker compose up command. This creates all the required Airflow Docker containers. Once created, it will start the containers. We will wait for all the containers to start. Once the Airflow is up, we launch the web server and login. Let's create a connection to Trino. This will also make sure the Trino provider is installed correctly. If Trino is listed in the connection type dropdown, then we have the provider installed in Airflow. Otherwise, you need to add this provider and build the image. For Trino, we need the IP address and the port. Trino port is listed in the Docker Compose file. In our setup, it is running on port 8080. We will use the connection ID in our DAG, so make a note of this. We will create an Airflow DAG. I will paste the DAG definition and we will go over it. It has three main tasks. First task creates an iceberg schema. We run a SQL command with location to create this schema in iceberg catalog. In the second task, we create the sales table. In the third task, we load the data from the S3 to this iceberg table. For this task, we check if the table contains data via this SQL query. If it contains rows, then we run a select one, otherwise we run an alter statement. It loads the S3 data to the table. We run the query to get the appropriate SQL statement. This task, however, returns a dictionary. Therefore, we are using a Python task to get the SQL query. Finally, we execute the query to add data to the table. Trino does not support if not exists syntax currently. Therefore, we are performing this workaround. We will add the dbt task later on. Let's save this DAG in the DAG folder in the Airflow directory. Before executing this DAG, let's add the source data. In the min.io, we save a parquet file in the data lake bucket under the data folder. This is our source data file. It contains six columns that match the sales table definition. It contains sales data for the products. Let's refresh our Airflow UI. Once the DAG is picked up, we can review it to make sure it contains the correct code. We trigger it and view the results. We can view the logs for each task to see the details, and if there is any error, the details will be logged here. We can review and fix the issue. Let's wait for the task execution to complete. All tasks completed successfully. We can launch dBeaver and expand the catalog to view the new schema under Iceberg. Raw schema is created. We have the sales table. Let's query it to validate our extract and load part of the pipeline. We have data loaded. First part of the pipeline is complete. Next, we set up the dbt environment. We create a Python virtual environment and activate this environment. In this environment, we install the required Python libraries. This goes without saying that you need Python installed on your machine. If you need to install Python, then follow the steps in the Python installation video. Anyways, we install the dbt core and dbt trino adapter. Once the installation is complete, we create a dbt project. We provide a name for this project and select the database trino in this instance. We can explore this project to make sure it is a valid dbt project. Review the required files and directories. We make a few tweaks to the dbt project YAML file. We add a variable for time zone and a flag to suppress the SSL warning for Trino. In addition, let's change the materialization for the staging and MARTS models. We also add a macro to the project that will create the clean schema names. DBT needs data source details to connect to our raw source data and to save the transformed data. Connection details are in the profile YAML file. We define Trino engine details here. Mainly we need the host and the port number. For the host, we provide the IP address. Since we will trigger DBT from a Docker container, it needs to connect to Trino running on another container. Also, we provide an existing schema that dbt can connect to. It will create additional schemas that we have defined in the project YAML file. 
we can issue a dbt debug command to test the connection. All checks are green, so we are ready to transform this data. Now we can create dbt staging models using the iceberg table. I will paste the model scripts to save us some time. We provide a reference to Trino's database, schema, and tables in the source YAML file. This is used by the source dbt function to locate the raw tables. We define the dbt model in the stage SQL file. We select from the raw source table. dbt will create a new table based on this file. In the schema YAML, we provide descriptions and define test cases. Let's move to the Marts folder. In the model file, we select from the staging model. We are converting the date from big int to proper date format. In subsequent query, we are performing a few more transformations. You can perform data modeling in dbt, build your facts and dimensions. But I will keep this simple and add it as a final table. Our raw data is loaded in Iceberg via Airflow DAG. Let's update the DAG to include dbt for transformations. We have already included the data lake directory under the volume section in the Docker Compose. Now we need to copy our dbt project over to the directory where our Airflow setup is located. I will paste the data lake folder here. This contains our dbt project. I will also copy the profile YAML file in the profile directory. We will need this in the container to establish connection to Trino. In the DAG, we declare two variables. First for our dbt project location and second for the dbt profile YAML file. Using bash operator, we run the dbt and provided the profile directory and the project directory. Similarly, we run all the dbt tests. We add these tasks at the end and save our DAG. This DAG will run the complete ETL pipeline from creating base objects to loading raw sources and transforming the raw data. In dBeaver, we can review the Iceberg catalog. We expand the catalog to view schema and table. We can view and query Trino's tables using dBeaver. At the moment, our dbt schemas and tables do not exist. Let's trigger our updated DAG and view the progress. Our DAG is in progress. Let's refresh the page to get the status. It created the schema, the iceberg sales table. We check the row count, get the SQL query, and add data to the table. After this, the dbt is triggered. We will wait for dbt-related tasks to complete. Let's refresh the iceberg catalog in Trino. We have two new schemas staging and sales. Let's expand the sales schema. Select the sales table and query it. This contains the transformed data. We see the date related columns we added along with the region. This is our complete ETL data pipeline. We set up S3 as a storage layer. Apache Iceberg for the table format along with Postgres. Trino as our query engine and dbt as our transformation layer. Finally, Airflow as the orchestration framework that runs that entire pipeline. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.